In Etrian Odyssey 3, there are as many stories as there are players. Step into the shoes of an explorer, hoping to earn fame and fortune in the ocean city of Armorod by investigating the rumors of a sunken city in the Yggdrasil Labyrinth. Perhaps your guild will be the one to discover the truth. And perhaps not. Us guys in the Jackrabbits Guild had a rough day in the labyrinth. It seemed like every berry we picked was poisonous and every cute little monster had big mean parents. So I decided the guys deserved a little break, so we set sail. Kicking back and catching fish was just the thing to take our minds off all the fighting, but having to go toe to toe with pirates put a bit of a damper on the vacation. I led the Kingfish to go through the Senatus initiation mission with flying colors. But afterwards, I delegated the map making duties to my artistically minded Zodiac. When we needed an escape route but being pursued by some terrible thing deep in the labyrinth, I discovered, to my horror, that he'd been focusing on making the map aesthetically pleasing instead of functional. We nearly lost a good obelisk getting out of there. My Sunrise Guild is a good crew. I just wish we could keep them focused. We're supposed to be hunting this monster catfish for the Senatus, but they keep getting sidetracked. My monk is always dragging me off to the bistro to see if anyone has any requests that he's doing, in hopes that we'll get some nice gear as a reward. And my farmer, naturally, is constantly insisting that we need to be gathering more herbs. It's about time I call the guild meeting because I say we're ready now. Mark my words. We're going to be the ones to down that catfish. And we're going to be the ones to find that sunken city. In Etrian Odyssey 3, even the narrative is up to the player. What will your story be?